Good day, YouTube. Today we're doing just a little bit of a comparison video between Peppermint OS uh, version 22 or 2022 on the left hand side and Linux Mint 20.3, the Mate edition on the right. Now this is a bit of an apples to oranges video. We do actually have different desktop environments for each of these, although they do look a bit similar. So on the left hand side for Peppermint, we've actually got the XFCE desktop environment there, as you can see. And on the right hand side, we've got the Mate desktop environment here. But mostly with all the same apps as you can see there. Uh, office apps, internet, browser apps, even some graphics apps. Not everything installed, but you can install extra ones later on if you like. Now, uh, let's see if we were to uh, maybe take a, a look across to the file managers and see these ones. I really enjoy what the, uh, the the color accents and tones that Peppermint is using here. It's kind of got this shimmy effect and this red and dark mode feel to it. Just really enjoying that. On the right-hand side for Linux Mint, the Mate edition, uh, sticking with the, the green coloring scheme, of course, which... Um, I can uh, certainly enjoy there as well. If we were to look maybe a little bit under the hood there and see what's going on here. So we have, uh, let's see, the kernel. So the 5.10 kernel uh, for Peppermint. I'll just mention Peppermint is based off Debian, whereas we've got the 5.4 kernel, so an older kernel on Linux Mint, which is based off Ubuntu. Uh, now, last but not least, let's have a look at the CPU and RAM usage there. So uh, CPU is looking quite idly off there. These are just both booted up from scratch. Got about 750 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Peppermint, whereas we've got about 500 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Linux Mint 20.3 Mate Edition. So it is much more lightweight uh, uh, desktop environment, the Mate desktop environment there, I would have to say. And we can see there, DE, Mate, and we can see XFCE, the DE there as well. So pretty interesting stuff. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.